and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on earth. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think this is our first train ride in Canada ever and what a way to kick off with the Rocky Mountaineer so to kick things off we're having a Danish with cinnamon infused whipped cream and how it usually works uh, when the train is full, of course, is they give half the train will go downstairs to the cart to have breakfast while the other half waits and then they switch it up. So what they're doing for us today is they're giving us all what you would be doing if you're waiting for breakfast. So this is just a little appetizer, but breakfast is next. So in case you're wondering what trip we're on, we're actually on the first passage to the west, which is their flagship route for Rocky Mountaineer. They actually have three routes they do in Western Canada, but this one goes from Vancouver to Kamloops to Lake Louise and Banff, retracing the Canadian Pacific Railway, which is famous for uniting Canada and joining British Columbia to Canada more than 125 years ago. So now we're gonna give you a little tour of the train. We're in the gold leaf section, which is the higher end option. So this is the, the bi-level cart. So we actually have the comfortable seating up top with the dome-like windows, which is really beautiful for admiring the view. But we actually have the dining car below, which is something you don't get if you opt for the silver leaf package. And the seating's really great, actually. It's almost like being business class in an airplane. Maybe better, actually, because the seating's really comfortable. Lots of leg room. You have your little table for when you want to have a drink or a snack but also really cool is these are heated seats so if you're a little chilly you can turn on the heat and you can even make it into a reclining position if you maybe want to relax or take a nap and now this is the dining rail car so this is where we have breakfast and lunch although you could come down here in the day if you wanted to but as you can see no one's here right now it's just set up for eating you still have nice views of everywhere outside and this is actually on the on the lower deck, so like right below the seats above. Most likely on about the 20 hours you're gonna be on the train, you're gonna visit the washroom. So in case you're curious, here they are. So they have this fancy light to let you know if it's free or not. Now it's free. And perhaps the coolest part of the train is the open deck where you can come out, get some fresh air, and really get the best views possible. It's time to eat again. Now it's time for lunch. So definitely if you like food, this train ride is right for you. And something that we have noticed is that they like to feature a lot of the local produce and local businesses. A lot of the wines and beer are actually made in British Columbia. And I can also notice that some of the items in the menu are also local, such as the Pacific Salmon, the Fraser Valley Chicken, the Shoe Swap Pork Chop, which I find very cool. It's very good. Everything is so good. So right now we've actually come to a stop. As you can probably see out the window, there's a CN trail going by and that's because we're actually going to be switching tracks or transitioning from the Canadian Pacific Railway to the Canadian National Railway for our last journey to Kamloops. I feel like I can pretty much touch this train. <laughs> Well, we're getting very close to Kamloops, and this is actually Kamloops Lake. It's 
35 and we made it to our hotel for tonight, the Delta Hotel. And what a lovely day. The scenery was beautiful, lots of food and drinks. The service was amazing. They gave, you, gave us so much information about the different viewpoints along the way. Yeah, we were definitely spoiled, I think, for our first train ride in Canada. And we're actually feeling a little wobbly right now. They call it train legs, kind of similar to being on a boat. So that's an interesting feeling to have. But yeah, we obviously don't have time to explore Kamloops, but we have been here before. So if you want to learn more about that area, just watch our video on Kamloops. And uh, otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna freshen up, go for dinner and get to bed early because part two of our train trip starts tomorrow. We're back on the train again, even earlier, because today we're heading to the Rocky Mountains. Yeah, so this is supposed to be the most scenic part of the trip. I mean, it's all scenic, but this is, I mean, it's the Rocky Mountains. Pretty hard to beat, but the train's actually gonna be smaller today. You won't notice that, but it's gonna be about half the size, because half are splitting and going up to Jasper on one of the other routes, and then our half is going to Banff. Yesterday we were talking with a chef and he mentioned that these croissants are imported all the way from France. I guess that's why they're so delicious. So flaky and buttery. Mm. Now let's add more butter. <laughs> Well, the breakfast was delicious. Now I'm ready for a small nap. And they even give you some blankets. How nice. That was so sweet. The lady that we just saw, her name is Dory. And she comes out on her porch and waves to every single Rocky Mountain Air train. Since 1990, Rocky Mountaineer has been the only passenger train to travel this famous and historic Canadian Pacific Line. Completed in 1885, this railway runs through beautiful and unforgiving terrain, utilizing a variety of bridges and tunnels to connect British Columbia with the rest of Canada and allowing tourists to experience a trip like no other. We just left Field BC and we're going to be entering the famous spiral tunnels here pretty soon. The spiral tunnels are one of the most unique features of the railway. Built in 1907 to cut the grade in half, it travels through two mountains, turning up to 290 degrees, doubling back upon itself twice, and emerging roughly 32 meters higher than when it entered the first mountain. The whole thing is like a perfect maze. Everything has been so good. The service has been great, the views are amazing, the food very delicious. We've been treated as royalty. Well, we have arrived to the beautiful town of Tham. Yeah, if you've been watching us on YouTube for a while, you know we've been here many times. But we never get tired of visiting because it's so beautiful. Yeah, if you want to learn more about Banff, actually definitely check out our other videos. We have winter videos, summer videos, lots of information on Banff. So, and of course, if you like this video, we hope it inspired you to take the Rocky Mountaineer through the Rockies. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about the train trip, just visit our website at mustycanada.com.
Oh my god. Carla, you have pieces of the Danish in your hair and on your chin. <laughs> it's because it was very good and so flaky. Yeah, it was like, I did just a mess. I don't know what she'd do without me. Just walking around with crumbs all I over her face. I love you crumbs <laughs> here too. Uh, yeah, but just the shirts, okay? <laughs> so you don't have long hair. 